It's another mail day. Oh. I only have one package, but it has quite a few in there. I mean, about five. Uh, one of the CD groups that I'm in on Facebook, a uh, guy was selling a bunch of stuff for basically five bucks a piece. So I jumped in as quick as I could. Some stuff I couldn't nab, but these, uh, let's see, is it five? Yeah, five that I bought. So let's start with uh, the one that's the odd man out of the bunch. I went ahead and picked up this, which is full of hell. This is Roots of the Earth with Rudiments of uh, Mutilation. I have both of these separately, but I did not have this collection. I was, wasn't was sure if it had um, anything going on, like bonus tracks or anything like that, So, but I wanted to just grab it. Just in case it did, but it doesn't look like it has anything extra to it. So, that's slightly a disappointment, but, I mean, I guess as a completist, that's good. Maybe at some point they'll do a comp with a bunch of their splits that they've done. Yes, high B. Next up is Santanic Warmaster off the book. Uh, I mean, I know I probably butchered that up. But, uh, I can't help it. I don't speak German. I hope that was German. I don't even fucking know. Either way, good black metal. This one is a, I just picked it up because I did not know what it was. I was, because, you know, shit was snapping up. This is Executioner's Mask. It's a spare anthems. So far with the cover art... I am not quite thrilled with this. Oh, by Jay Gandit. No, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to like this. I know Jay. He's. There's only so much. Uh... I'll be nice and say nothing. So, oh well. That one's probably a. Uh bust but i was very happy to get this but this is lurker of challenge uh Ch lurker of chalice uh tellurian sake furnace uh slacked furnace did not have this i have the other lurker of chalice and i absolutely love that one so i was really through this was the main thing that i wanted to get out of everything on there with that one, and I also got Leviathan, the first sub-level of Suicide. Because I didn't have this one. The other one I was trying to get was the 10th uh, level, uh, sub-level of Suicide, but didn't grab it in time. Someone else snagged, and there was something else. But basically for $25, I think I did pretty good, aside from um, the one with Jay in it but i can live with that i mean other than that pretty short video uh, news coming up rope man that finally dropped actually he dropped it on Bandcamp i think friday and then started doing the push to promote it uh sunday and he's going to be dubbing some tapes for that so there'll be a tape release it's a four song ep um i'm not certain if he has the uh correct cover up on Bandcamp, but I think it's under Rope Man Grind uh, for Bandcamp, and there's a Instagram, and I don't know what the name of that, maybe it's the same thing, something like that, but we already have a uh, split lined up with, a, I want to say, I think he said Slate, oh well, no matter, he, he has a bunch of songs, I mean, out of four, there's still 26 other ones he can pick from. So, plenty for him to pull from. Other than that, Obsidian Hooves, the uh, second album, is going to be coming out on Morbid Chapel uh, Records. 
I think sometime in the next cu couple of weeks. I know that he just sent the uh, our portion of the CDs last week. Sent them to uh, Nick, so we'll be getting them pretty soon. And I'll have some of them up on my store. I'm going to update my store this week with a bunch of stuff. And to the one few people that all of a sudden started buying all my digital stuff for like a dollar, even though I marked it for, you know, for free basically to buy it, I appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, I basically take it and I go buy more CDs with it or put it towards making more. Uh, next. Uh. I'm stroking out, sorry. But the uh, next thing I'm working on right now, mix-wise, is the new Louching. Uh, the next EP will be called uh, The Black Death. And then I'm going to be working on getting a lot more of that material out because I've neglected it, neglected it as well as like I did with Boiled Tongue. I have probably two or three hours worth of material there. And, uh, God, that, that's dinner, this timer going off. Either way, got Gastric Phantasm, stuff of that's coming out. I know the split, I think, is going to end up coming out next year because of vinyl issues. I know there's also going to be a tape press of that with Goat Throne, pretty certain. Then, uh, I just did vocals for a three song brand new band I haven't even picked a name for it but I just opted up for my vocals it kind of sounds like a nap the crop at least to me it does and that's how I kind of approached my vocals and he's doing it as a split with his other project that he needed vocals for that he got some other guy to do so he's basically making a split with himself with two different vocalists and I think that we might do some more future material under this name because I told him I could actually do drums instead of him programming everything and he was like oh well that's pretty awesome yeah I, now we can it's more viable and more interesting to me to continue it so yeah more music coming out also I think this week I'll drop if I can finish up the artwork I mean the artwork's done I just need to compose it into a complete uh, album cover so it looks interesting but that will be um the incredible melting man the first uh it'll be the debut and it's i think 18 or 20 minutes basically i'm just ripping off more guitar and uh ripping off travis bickle's drum style 100 percent because i really loved it i tracked it back in february and uh i had my friend nick do some uh synths over it like a couple of um little portions of uh, songs and stuff like you know add a little bit here add a little bit there spooky intro here spooky outro there type shit and I was debating if I was going to pull some of the uh, dialogue you know do samples from the movie but I probably say forego that and uh, just go ahead and out and release it other than that nothing else might have another mail day by Thursday, so happy Columbus Day. I'm not going to say anything else. It's always going to be Columbus Day. I guess it's time to go play some Red Dead.